this truck has multiple injector failures. We start to see injectors fail once the fuel pressure is driven down the road at under 40 PSI. So whenever you see multiple injectors failures, make sure you check your fuel pressure under a load. Otherwise, you may put injectors in there for no reason and end up having them fail again. I've seen them fail within 200 miles from low fuel pressure. A couple things. One, you have to check it under a load driving down the road full throttle because it's just static, just checking here, revving it up, it'll never drop enough. But what I've done here, I've gotten one of the, the billet fuel caps from New England Performance Parts and they come pre-tapped right here so we can go ahead and put the line on there. So I use this cap because the other way or the correct way, what Ford would tell you to do it, you need this adapter here and it goes down in the front of the fuel filter down here at the bottom to tap in there and it's a lot harder especially on the vans here it's a little bit of a job but it's a whole lot easier so i'll put it on here and then run the gauge with the hose through here out the hood and i can drive it down the road and check it under a load this one had the fuel pressure dropping and we just did the fuel filters so we're going to check it and see what's going on with it here we go now into full throttle It is dropping, but at least it's not as bad as it was. Before I did the lower fuel filter, this was dropping under 30 PSI. Somebody's been changing his fuel filters, but only doing the upper one, which I'll show here in a second. And this is actually what I found. And it's fairly common, we'll see it this way, even with major fleets, I'll have it. With this old fuel filter here on it, my under load, the fuel pressure was dropping under 30 PSI and we see multiple failed injectors now. When you have the, the fuel, it's when the fuel pressure is low, under 40, and the injector doesn't completely fill, you have the oil pressure on the other side that still pushes just as hard to inject the fuel, but without the fuel being there and completely filling the injector, it'll beat that injector to, to death. So it's real important to make sure that you have the proper fuel pressure. And to, um, to diagnose it, Remember, you're going to need a cap or the adapter to do it properly to check it because you want to check it under load and a gauge that you can monitor while driving. And also make sure that when the fuel filters are done that the people are doing the upper and the lower on you. Otherwise, you end up with this with multiple failed injectors. So hopefully this helps out. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.